Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wedding Rags to Island Riches, our Sims 4 Island Living Challenge with our missing bride with missing memories and one lovesick merman and a lot of missing coconut trees! You guys, my coconut trees are gone. I am so sad about this. It is now officially fall, apparently, and that means that I have lost my coconut trees. <laughs> oh, well, that was easy money, and I guess it makes sense that eventually we had to run out of that. But as you can see, all of our coconut trees are now no longer no longer thriving. Uh, we even have our, I think it's, yeah, the kava shrubs are out of season, so they're not really going to be doing anything right now either. And the whole island looks really, really bare. But we're actually going to fix that because we're going to go ahead and say that all of the research that Nalui was doing for all of the coconuts is over for the season. She needs to shift her research into something else. And we are going to focus instead on maybe putting down uh, some other plants, maybe starting to get some of the like plants that flourish in like the, the bird of paradise, for instance. I mean, there are a lot of other plants that we haven't added into this area. Uh, so it might be worth it to work on our gardening a little bit and maybe get some rare plants <gasps> like getting oh what about the trees of emotions maybe we'll try getting some of the trees of emotions over here that would be really cool we might try getting in <gasps> we haven't found the pineapple we might just start growing tons of pineapples oh <gasps> that would be really cool but we also might shift gears from earning all of our extra money off of the coconuts and we might really start relying on a certain merman with a certain talent for being able to go out and gather as many seashells and hopefully as much buried treasure as we can get our hands on to gather up a ton of different uh, di different items and be able to start selling them to support his beloved Nalui, who is actually recovering from a very active night last night. She was involved in the the new, um, is it raining? It is raining. Huh. You know what? We may actually, I think that's actually gonna get, oh, we got a suntan. No way. Ukupanipo, you look really good with the suntan. Look at you, dude. That's really cool. And yes, now he has completed one of his aspirations for the beach life. So he has got his suntan. Now he just needs to earn gold on a kava party, uh, which is very exciting. Oh, wow. He actually does look pretty good in that. But he really wants to take care of Nalui. And I do think that Ukupanipo is still upset about last night. Because last night, Nalui almost lost her life in a terrifying accident that involved the observatory's brand new, absolutely brand new rocket uh, kind of blowing up. The observatory, you know, the conservation observatory, which is where one of the places where Nalui works on the island, wanted to expand into doing a little bit more satellite research, a little bit more research in space to go along with the research they're doing here on the volcano, kind of maybe taking samples from the island, like the water samples, and seeing how they do in space. Very cutting edge, very important, and apparently very unprepared for those kinds of adventures because Nalui did fall from space. She almost lost her life, scared the heck out of Ukapanipo, who wants to make sure that she is protected and well taken care of because he is a sucker for her. He really does have um, a huge crush on her. And Nalui might be starting to think a little bit about that because last night we let him, as I said, as long as he finds rare or uncommon items, we might have to change it to rare items since apparently he can just get as many seashells as he wants. But as long as he can find some rare items to give her as a flirty gift, I will not stand in the way of however they react to one another after that point. And so there was actually some flirting going on last night, especially an embrace of relief that she was alive after the crash. But before the crash and during the beginning of the flirting with this romantic interest here with Ukupanipo, uh, somebody, Leela, 
actually, Leila actually saw us flirting and she does not approve. Leila is a big believer in the sanctity of marriage. And you guys have to remember, even though Nalui doesn't remember, she is married to someone out there. She showed up on this island with that wedding ring and that wedding dress. So it is quite the scandal in Leila's eyes. And if we carry on with this romance, we may actually lose that friendship and we might even lose Oleana's friendship because I really think that Leila would turn quite aggressive towards us because how dare, like we're married. Sure, we don't know who we're married to, but that would be something she'd majorly disapprove of. And speaking of disapproval, Uka Pinipo is actually trying to work to get the approval of the island spirits so that he feels that he can better protect Nalui and protect this little island. And he wants to make a friend. So I actually feel like he might want to summon the island spirits and maybe talk with them and try to befriend them so that he can become even stronger and find ways to guard his Nalui, who almost lost her freaking life to that rocket ship. Uh, but all right, all of that said, there's a couple, oh yeah, look at that. Oh, got a sweet tan, that's so cool. I was worried because he's a merman, he wouldn't be able to tan, but apparently he can. But all of that said, we're gonna do a couple things today. It's also Remembrance Day, which means Nalui's personality has actually shifted once again. We randomized the uh, materialistic trait she had and it just went straight to being a snob instead. So these snobs can critique work on low quality items, are bored by low brow television and gain confidence from other snob personalities or other snob sims. So all I can imagine is that she's starting to think that like, you know, I really need to start looking for the rare items. I've already discovered so many of the common and the uncommon items of the seashells and especially that buried treasure. I feel like her snob trait is the fact that she wants to find more buried treasure really starting to kick off. So there's quite a bit going there. And also Ukupanipo wants to make sure that Nalui is very comfortable today. So we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to sell all of these, uh, all of these coconut trees. It is time friends. It is time. We're going to go ahead and sell all these coconut trees and say that the coconut research is over for the season but we turned in the information and oh my gosh, we turned in the information. Uka Panipo, oh, without you, this would have been impossible. This is so cool. Look at how much money we're getting. This is the best. Oh my gosh. But yeah, we're gonna say we turned in um, all of the coconut research information and this is what we've got because this is so cool. All right, let's keep going. I'm going to be buying some coconut trees to replace the ones that we have now lost because now the island looks so bare. But after the trauma of last night, I feel like Ukupanipo wants to do something special to help our lovely lady relax. So we're going to sell all of these ones. And I'm tempted to put like I do eventually want to make like a courtyard. And actually, I came up with the idea yesterday. I was sitting around and I was like, we need to make a hidden cave. So eventually what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna make like a little lava cave and we're going to make it so that it becomes a basement and we have like an underground lava tunnel under our house. That is one of my big goals for this so that we'll be able, hopefully you can do that on a beach lot like this, but that's one of my huge goals so that we can have like an underground lava tunnel area. And if we can't do it here, we might actually get a retail lot to do it on and kind of count that towards uh, the rags to riches goal because I think that would be so cool to like store all of our treasures in a hidden underground like lava tunnel and maybe Uka Pinipo keeps things that represent the island spirits there. That would be so much fun. But all right, he wants to help her relax today. And I was thinking it would be really cool and I don't know if this is going to work. I really don't know if the hot tubs are actually going to work. <laughs> I'm a little, I'm a little nervous about the hot tubs not working because I think left of the center hot tub, because I think the thing with hot tubs is that they, I want to pretend it's like a little hot spring on the island. Will they work? Ah, it's not going to work, you guys. Okay, so we can't do a hot tub. That idea for helping her relax is out. Did we just lose money on that hot tub? because I'm going to be a little perturbed if that's the case. 
Eh, we lost a lot of money on that hot tub. Fooey, like, it's kind of expensive figuring out the things that don't work on the grid. Uh, off the grid. But that's okay. Okay, does this work off the grid? Yeah, I would expect the do-it-yourself shower should work off the grid. <laughs> okay, so that idea is out. But I have hope. I actually want to make a cute little... Let's see, can I get like a little foundation down here? Yeah, flat little L shape, little square deck. Is that? Yeah, let's make like a little deck. So I just want to make like this cute little deck. Maybe not even that big. Yeah, this should do it. Like I just want to make a cute little deck and we're going to make like kind of a relaxing little lanai area that's going to have a massage table in it uh, to help to help our, our girl relax. That sounds like a good idea. And we'll even put down, there we go. Little walls, voila, to make it a little more steady. We'll go ahead and remove these sides. And this is what, while she was sleeping, Ukapanipo is going to have just, you know, casually kind of built out of the uh, the coconut wood, which is now no longer available. And let's use these lava rocks. Nice. Do I want to use those lava rocks and everything? Probably not. We'll back that up a little bit. Oh, but this is so cool to just be able to like come on in. And I think we'll do lava rocks on the back. No, 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 lava rocks on the back, I said. There we go. Like so. And then let's actually come over and do like seafair. What is something nice? That's really nice, actually. Hey, <laughs> you're not supposed to cover up all of those. There we go. Oh, that looks really cute. I like it. Uh, I think the wood doesn't match though. So let's actually change the color of the wood. That's better. Yeah, the, let's see, color of the wood. Hmm, curly wood maybe. Oh, that's much better, okay. And then let's actually change the little fence to a different color. Oh, there we go. See, that looks much more like you'd just have this relaxing little lanai thing. And hopefully we could actually make a basement here, but I'm not sure if you, I don't know if you can make basements on these lots, which would really suck. Uh, we might eventually, can, cannot build below ground. Oh man, I can't make my lava tunnel basement. That's it. We're going to have to buy another little island chunk somewhere. So we can have our secret epic lava tunnel. We'll have to just save that for after we finish the first chapter of these guys' legacies of their rags to riches then. <laughs> I really wanted that too, so that I could like fill up a pool and, and like have a really epic basement. But I guess this will be their little lighthouse house. And then we'll have another island spot that we'll make another house on eventually. Uh, but let's focus on this. How close are we? We're at 32,000. We need to be at 100,000 and then 100,000 in cash, but I think we'll be able to do that a lot quicker than it sounds. Can I not build a fountain here either? Booey, that's fine. There's a lot of trade-offs for being off the grid, and there's a lot of trade-offs <laughs> for being on a beach, but I can't really complain because it's amazing. All right, let's put this in. There we go. Way down. Nice. Oh, this is cute. And so it won't be just for like a massage table. It'll also be for a bunch of other things. Uh, let's get the tropical thatch down. But yeah, it'll be it'll be like not just for like ho ho ho. I I have a massage to offer here. Uh, it's also that's kind of cute doing a varied color like that. We'll put whatever items we want. Do I want to make it darker? I like, kind of just like it like that. Nice. But we'll put like relaxing items over here. We might have like a little, a little spot where people can come and enjoy a party over here as well. But I love expanding the house as our, our little events happen. Ooh, 
I also think it'd be really fun if he started like pulling up random things from shipwrecks. <gasps> Uka Panipo, you're gonna be our, our guy to help us decorate because I love that idea that he could just start pulling up random things from shipwrecks. So we could just be like, yeah, who knows why we have this fancy like sculpture butler thing, but we do because Uka Panipo found it in a shipwreck and he just brought it to surface because he's a diver now. That would be so much fun. Oh, that's gonna be awesome, guys. That will really give us a lot of leeway to like, yeah, why do we have this fancy bar stool that totally doesn't match this other one? Who knows, Uka Panipo brought it up from like underwater. Ooh, and we can still have like little, ooh, can we shrink down the fountains? Ah, I might still be able to make the fountain thing happen. Uh, all right, well, let's go ahead and put in the relaxing massager, which I have not used. I literally have not used this thing pretty much since uh, Spa Day came out. And I do like Spa Day, actually. I know it's not the, the most popular, but I actually really enjoy it. Um, yeah, there we go. And you know what? Let's fill this place up with some flowers. In fact, let's, maybe that's another thing because all of the other plants have left. Let's actually put down a bunch of plants on the outside and let's actually decorate with some of the, because I want, I think he, he wants it to be like nice and relaxing over here. So he's thinking about like making it super relaxing so she can just come and chill. We can even put a captain's quarters. Oh, come on. You know you want to be over these doorways where it would be absolutely epic. Let's get down inside here. BB, move objects on. Oh, this is cute. Okay. This is going to be a little tricky but I think I can do it. Yeah, I can if I do that. Do I want to is kind of the question. I kind of do, like that's kind of cute. We put it, we put some of those, oh, that is kind of cute. Look at that. I think we should hang up a couple of those around the place because he wants this to be like a super relaxing spot where hopefully his beloved Nilui will not be tempted to go jump inside of the terrible rocket ship of doom again. Oh, there we go. And then let's filter items, see some things to decorate with. Oh, I can get that one there. Ooh, that actually might look a little nicer. Now I kind of like the open look. All right, let's get some decorations down here. This is so fun. I haven't been able to use these. Oh, a sellaway sail. Oh, that's cute. Um, crystal clear. Oh yes, this is the crystal clear floor. I definitely need to install this uh, upstairs above her bedroom at some point. Oh look, and this is the happy pavilion. This is literally what I was just trying to build. <laughs> Except like pre-done. I feel so silly now. I like was doing all of this work, trying to figure out how to make this little pavilion thing. And it literally was just right here waiting for me. That's so funny. Well, do I like my pavilion more? That actually, that actually looks kind of good. Putting the pavilion inside of a pavilion, sort of, maybe. Let's try removing the walls. Oh, that's even better. That is even better. Okay, we needed the walls. I think we'll leave the backdrop. I'm kind of proud about that. Can I change the, the floor piece? This has turned into an entire, an entire episode of me just like, <gasps> learning how to mess with these things, but man, I'm happy duck right now. I am so happy. Look at this. Well, geez, now we just have like this creepy massage table. That's not concerning whatsoever. Um, Let's see, we'll put some outside plants out here in a second. There's just, oh my gosh. I didn't even look at these things. The Islanders, oh, it's a little trellis thing. I, I wish I had looked at these before. I would have been completely blown away by what's down here. Uh, but let's go ahead. We can add, a, a, well, the ceiling fan won't work off the grid. Never mind. We shall not add a ceiling fan. <laughs> uh, ooh, I wonder, let's add in, let's add in that plant again. Cause I think a couple of these plants would be kind of nice in the corners and nice and thoughtful of what he could have gathered. And then let's come over and maybe what we'll do, I think, okay, we'll put the massage table down. He'll offer her that as one way to relax. 
And then let's look for, what are some, maybe a nice little stool? Like maybe we'll turn this into a little bit of a meditation area. Because I like the idea that even Ukupanipo has to meditate to try to commune better with the spirits. So let's put down a couple, just like a nice couple little benches. We can actually just put those, I think you can put those in your Sims inventory, but we'll have to check. Oh, and then let's put down an archaeology workbench because she really wants to start doing research on some of the buried treasure around the uh, pirate ship. So by putting it down, we're actually committing to doing that now. Oh, this is so cool. All right, what else can I smack down? I'm excited now. Like a yoga, bent, a yoga mat? I don't know if they're into yoga. She does have the new, the new guitar. And she's been thinking about doing creative things like painting and writing for a long time. And I swore I would get her an easel ages ago, but now we can actually like put an easel over here. Oh, this is so fantastic. Uh, let's see, what else can we add in? I kind of want to add in this, this globe at some point because you know, you got to see where you are in the world. Does that help us with our, we're hardly making a dent on the like, worthwhileness of our home actually i've never tried to increase my house's net worth before <laughs> so maybe that's kind of why I'm, I'm a little bit confused Ooh, we should get a ghostly violin oh <gasps> that would be really cool we'll have to save up for that oh and what about a little tiki bar for when we invite our friends see this is what i mean we can put the tiki bar in front of like this little lanai thing we can put down a bonfire and break out we could break out a big bonfire like put down a little a little row of counters that we can put the kava benches down, like the little kava things on. In fact, because I want to keep a lot of this outdoors and then maybe make another area, like another house part over here that could connect up across the top, like a little bridge. Oh, I'm just so excited. I can't believe I've just been building this whole time. I, I should put like a disclaimer, like warning, building, building a new, a new future. Ah, the El Salvadoradian. I wish there was like more of a tiki looking top. What's this? Whoa! I've never seen this before. Thank you, counter options that are really awesome. That must have been in an update or something that just went over my head. Uh, oh, here's the bewitching counter. One of these for a tiki top. I worry that's like the closest we're gonna get to a tiki top. Can I get a good color on it? Okay, I'll put a disclaimer on this one. <laughs> Warning, building in progress. Lots of building. All right, closest I can look to something that looks like Ukapinipo. Could have just made it himself. Actually, if we do it, <gasps> if we do it out of the blackness, that kind of looks like he made it out of rock. We're doing it, guys. We're doing it. Come here, fancy button. What can I do with you? Is that like a little in indie thing? I think it is like a little, ah, oh, that's so cool. What? Okay, that's awesome. That must have been from like some new update that mildly went over my head, but I really, really like that. <laughs> oh, so much counter space here. We'll, we'll sell this one. No, I think we need that much counter space. And then we're gonna go ahead and let's put down some plants. Cause that's how this should always end is with more plants. Oh, this is exciting. Neither of them really wanted to buy anything specific at the moment. Um, there we go. Let's do this. So we can get a hibiscus tree now to beautifully bloom right behind the house. Totally approve. There's also that breadfruit tree that we saw in the past. We could get a beautiful bush. Like, look at how this man has been able to help us out. I kind of want to keep things that are, look a little more wild. Yeah, like this. Look at how this guy has helped. He just comes in. He plants like 800 coconut trees. There we go. And I actually really want to get this guy kind of like under the house if I can. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Come on, okay. No, 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 you need, to, you need to go under the house. Ignore those foundations. Think, think of roots, roots, you need roots. All right, let's see. I'm really happy right now. 
And then let's get those coconut trees. Let's get some, some good old coconut trees in here to replace the ones. Like, rip other coconut trees. <laughs> I can shrink this guy down to kind of look like all of those coconut trees we had. <laughs> but they were for research. Research purposes. And they're gone now. Uh, which I guess is just... It, that's how the coconut falls, friends. That's just how the coconut falls. Oh, I love this. Okay. And then I'm even gonna put... Ah, uh, you know, I can't wait until somebody mods this tree to turn into, like, some sort of really cool, um... swing set for kids where they can just, like, swing off of this coconut tree. Alright, we'll probably move those... those... that dorky little trio of trees around uh, at some point in the future. But we'll go ahead and add the Exora tree, which is beautiful. I think that this is the tree that really makes him think about Nalui because she wears that wedding dress all the time. Which actually, while we have a little bit of money and while we're doing this, that reminds me, we are going to do something special with the wedding dress. So let's go ahead and come on in and we're going to find... Hang on, because this is, this is something I've been thinking about. And, oh, we do need, here, let's put down a couple more things while we're over here, though. Let's get our own barbecue pit, because we're going to want that for, like, parties and hanging out. And let's get more kava. I think, because whenever we throw a kava party, we always need, like, more than what we have of the kava bowls. So we'll get a couple kava bowls down. Um, is that everything here? And I'm going to do an experiment and see just how upset our merman becomes, if he does, of catching fish or not. Uh, cause we haven't caught any fish and I could really use some. Um, and maybe we should, I kind of want to get the, the tiki bar. <laughs> I kind of want to, I kind of want to get it and just say that like, he's really just setting everything up. Um, and I want it to look really weathered. Wow. This has gotten a upgrade, but it's definitely like, he's trying to think of all these things to help her relax. <laughs> and it's definitely just in such a sideways manner. Uh, anyway. As I was saying, my friends, let's see. As I was saying, the wedding dress. So, Nalui needs to do a little bit of, um, she needs to do a little bit of introspection, a little bit of reflecting on kind of who she is and who she was and who she wants to become. And she needs to figure out if she's going to move forward on that relationship with, uh, with a certain someone or not. And I think she's going to have her wedding dress go in storage now. She's been here for a whole season. She's been here for a long time. We're actually going to have her put her wedding dress in storage and take it off of all of her other outfits. But if that means she's ready to move on, and if that means she's ready to start thinking about Ukupanipi, Ukupan, uh, Ukupanipo as a romantic interest, is something she's really gonna have to wrestle with, especially with some of her friends majorly disapproving of that breach in the fact that she is kind of, you know, married. Uh, the wondrous wardrobe platform allows you to, any sim to style another. <gasps> oh, I forgot about that thing. That would have been really cool. Okay, and then there's a lot of things that we may just take out for like parties and put away. Like, um, like we might take out some of these floaters. We might take out some more, some more of like, mm, like the horseshoe pit, but I like this. It's silly. We upgraded everything very silly. Let's get some light just to round it off. Uh, we did upgrade everything very, very sillily, but I really like how it's turned out. Cause I just feel like it just totally reflects, bless his heart, Ukupanipo's personality of like how he would try to make things better. Cascading light trio. I don't know if that's going to work. <laughs> I guess it's hard to tell if it's going to work. Um, let's try it. I don't think it will. Yes, if we put it down and it stays lit, I think that it will work. So, <laughs> Yeah, if we put it down and they stay lit, I think that means that it's something that will keep the light going at night here on our little island. So we've got a few torches there. Let's see, a canopy candle. That's really pretty. Is this a little illuminated? Will this stay lit? 
that will not stale it. But we can go ahead and put down more kava bowls, these cute little kava bowls with a light inside of them. Maybe, oh, the ancestors will really be happy when they come back and see that. Um, and then we can go ahead and I guess we just need to like sprinkle torches <laughs> all over, all over our home. As interesting as that feels, it's just the truth of like how we have to light things up. All right, so there we go, guys. Wow, did not expect this today. And yes, we can actually put one of each of these in their inventories. And we'll say maybe they'll start meditating. I, getting the wellness skill up might be useful because you can teleport everywhere. <laughs> but we'll see how that goes. And otherwise, holy cow, that might be a lot of tiki lights. And I'm not sure about this little like bar that we suddenly have. <laughs> I think we'll keep that in the household, uh, the household inventory and take it out during parties. But we have increased, barely, the value of the lot. But now that a certain somebody is going to be feeling a little bit more snotty and snobby with her change in personality, then we might start putting down some of those rare items. And I do think it's kind of sweet how out of everything that Ukapanipo has done, he is trying very hard to help her relax. And we'll actually put the massage table in the household inventory and swap it out. Maybe they can sit and read books there. Who knows? It's going to be really fun. But all right, that was an unexpected building episode. I seriously didn't mean to like have zero gameplay, but we established everything. And next time we will simply start moving on. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you would like to help us build up this beautiful lot, at least it looks a lot different. Ugh, I'm even going to put these. These are the good coconut trees. They're going to go in the household inventory for now. But uh, if you would like to help us, with building up our stories do please leave a like if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures do please consider subscribing but most importantly my friends stay curious and i will see you guys next time Bye bye